Hey there, beautiful people. Today we are mountain painting. So as you can see, I'm just wiping down the walls here. Um, it's important to get all that dust and stuff off. Um, after that, I started taking off all the outlet covers so that I don't have to worry about getting paint on them. And then I realized I didn't have any paint in the room, so I went and got some. And I have four different colors, but I'm actually going to have um, seven different layers of the mountains and now I'm just drawing the different layers of the mountains some of them overlap so you'll see in a minute once I get it all painted on there but there's my first color I start from the top down and for this first layer I decided that I was just gonna paint the big chunks and then I'll go in and paint the details after um, so there's that might fast forward through some of this even more so you guys can see faster, but, uh, but yeah. So I'm also going to be doing a review of the blue tape versus the green tape. Not going to tell you what kind of tape it is, but you will be able to see how I feel about that in a minute. Um, if I were to do this again. Well, this is actually my second time doing this. I did it on a different bedroom wall before. But, if I were to do it again again, I would definitely use a smaller paintbrush when doing the details. Like, the top of that mountain. It was supposed to be a lot skinnier looking, but it's okay. It turned out alright. Well, let's see. I'm just doing the details. Once I get to the bottom of the, of the mountain, I just kind of do whatever. By the way, this took about five hours to do, but I will link the, well not link, I'll put the names of the paint colors that I used um, in the description box thing. Um, I feel like there's something else I wanted to tell you, but I can't remember, so just keep watching. Alright, so here's that uh, top layer all finished. You can see like the line where the bottom mountains are about to start. Um, here I'm about to mix my uh, next two colors. So the I call them colors 1, 2, 3, and 4. So your lightest color is number 1 and your last color is number 4. Um, so this is a mixture of color number 1 and color number 2. So it's uh, more, it's a better blend, I guess you can say. Um, I don't know how to explain it, but, um, but yeah, there I am painting along. It looked, it looked like it was going to be the same color, and I started freaking out, and then it started drying darker, so always remember that it dries darker than the way you paint it. Now I'm just going through and doing the details again, so let's fast forward through that. Alrighty, going through the details of this, so, but you want to make sure you really get this, like, the mixed layers done correctly, because, I mean, you just mix the colors, and I don't know if you've ever tried mixing colors and then trying to make the exact same color again but it's pretty darn near impossible so I you just want to make sure you get this layer done well unless you can save the color that you made I on the other hand could not I only had one mixing bowl thing so there I am going to go clean it out takes a lot longer than I made it seem but this is color number two I know it's confusing because it's the third layer but remember the second layer was a combination of one and two. So here goes layer two and it looks like you can't really tell because it's going to dry darker but the um, the second or third peak that I put in there kind of overlaps the the second and third or the second and first layer so it kind of gives it a different kind of illusion I suppose but um, there's that one. I think on this one I decided to paint the the detail lines as well as I was going. Alright, well 
Here I am, taking a break. So, that's important. Take breaks. Make it drive my pencil. Well, I don't need that apparently. So, yeah. Also, you can uh, sit down and admire your own work. Because at this point, I'm hitting about two and a half hours. So, I'm pretty tired. Well, no, maybe not two and a half hours, but maybe... Two hours and fifteen minutes. We'll say that. But either way, I'm tired of standing. So, taking a sit. Um, maybe not take a sit this long. It being kind of dramatic here. But, um, but yeah, let's hurry this along, eh? Okay? Alright, well, here I am mixing the colors I just wanted to show you. So, this is color number two. And it will be also color number three in there as well. In just a second, after I put the, you gotta shake it up. Make sure you shake up the the, the one you haven't opened yet. But I'm gonna try and uh, close that. Apparently, I got something on my lip there. Uh, closing the lid. Probably shouldn't use your hand. Probably should use something harder like a piece of metal but yep like I said shake the new can they haven't shaped opened yet uh, then you will use a flathead screwdriver to pry it open you can't see because I have a giant mixing bowl anyway but I feel like you all know how to open a paint can because it's quite obvious I'm obviously having some difficulties but once I get it open I'm gonna put the paint into the same buckets I usually try to make them even amounts, but I always seem to have more of the first color, which can't, isn't that bad because I usually find that darker colors are harder to, um, they usually overpower the lighter colors, so I usually don't pour as much, of, oh, well, I'm pouring a lot in there, but I usually don't pour as much of the darker color in with the light color because it usually overpowers it, but here you go, just mixing it up. Use your paintbrush that you're going to use, and you just mix it on up in there. And then we're about to start painting again, so let's get to it. Alright, so let's get this painting finished. I'm painting the next layer and after this layer it all starts to come together which is pretty cool but I made these weird two mountain peaks right there that I really like but it gets lost in it anyway because you know it's mountains and mountains aren't perfect so you know if you make a mistake just turn it into a bird haha <laughs> Bob Goff Bob Ross reference, um, for those of you who are too little to know who that is, you should go look him up, Bob Ross. Um, and at this point, I am freezing, so I go and get a space heater and put on a sweatshirt because my boyfriend leaves the house at 64 degrees. So, here I am, trying to stay warm while I'm painting. And apparently that's really hard to do. So I went and got a space heater and a sweatshirt. And this is... Hold on, let me count. <laughs> color number one, two... This is color number three. Because the one before that was a mixture of two and three. So this is number three. And so then after this one, you only have two more colors to go. I decided to do like a gray to blue scale. Well, the top color is like a white blue color, but um, I found that the darker your color gets, the more, um, I don't know what I'm saying, the more of the background color you see through it. So you have to paint over top of it. You have to give it a, give it a good uh, brush through. But here is colors number two and three, no, three and four, sorry. See, this is really confusing. I should have 
annotated it while I was doing it, but here we are. We live and we learn. But as you can see, oh, well, I had to learn. But you can see that there is a mountain peak that is going through the two layers. That was designed when I was doing the pencil stuff. Where am I? What am I doing? Oh, I'm painting. You can't see me because I'm behind the bed. But this is the last color. This is um, color number four. And this is the darkest one of them all, so it got really... You really had to, you had to do two layers completely. So, um, yeah, I, after all this is said and done, I put on, I put the, the outlet covers back on, and then I took the tape off the bottom that you can't see, but I will put a picture at the end of this video with the finished product, because it's probably better quality, but this is pretty much it. Well, there it is, everybody, and I hope you enjoyed, and trust me, I'm not an expert. If I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching, and remember to be beautiful.